Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. So today we're going to do a um, tire pressure sensor change for all four tires. I already did three of them, so since they are the same thing, so I'm just going to show you one of them. Um, so you can get this thing from... Um, Either you want the original one from the dealer, or you can get, I bought this. Four sensor for uh, $38. So that's up to you. You want to get it from a dealer, you go ahead and get it from a dealer. I think the dealers cost like $40 per, per sensor. So I got four for uh, 38 And uh, I think it's the OEM brand is uh, uh, TRW. TRW is the OEM brand and usually for when you buy this sensor I have the link um, on my uh, video description if you want to purchase it uh, is from Amazon so buy the one that's already um, pre-programmed okay so it should mean already program it um, so basically if if it's a if, if it's a pre-program already then um, you will get your sensor ID right here. So this one is an eight digit. Something right here, as you can see. So it's an eight digit. This one's A B four F four D F one zero two. So uh, if your dashboard um, it's on and um, later on I'll show you how to do the scan tool, uh, use your scan tool, uh, your launch uh, scan tool to, um, to program this into your car so the ECU can recognize or C ECM uh, can recognize your, your sensor. Since it's already programmed, it should work with your Toyota Sienna, which I have right now. So... Uh, Basically, right now, I'm just going to raise this up. I got one of these two. Uh, this thing is uh, one of those 12-volt uh, uh, lift. Uh, it's uh, it been working pretty well. And it's very convenient. Let me show you how it works. So, just raise up. One touch. As you can see so if you want to be safe make sure you put another um, device in the back so make sure it's safe if it, in case it's far back you have something to you can rely on and uh, let me get all this up and let me remove the tire and I'll show you how to get uh, the sensor out okay so give me a second. So I'm back. Um, I got the wheel off, and I got a extra jack over there just to make sure. Also, they want inside, so in case if something happened, they have the extra jack. Um, uh, the socket right here. This is a. Uh, let me see. Is this a twelve? Uh, it's a twelve socket. So you need that, and um, also uh, today it's a uh, hundred degree outside, so you need your favorite drink. I got one right here. This is a uh, they call milk tea. Basically, it's tea and milk. Mm, that's what I like. That's my energy drink right there, just in case you need some water for this. Uh, since you're taking the tire out, make sure you. Uh, this is opportunity for you to clean this off. Uh, just use a wire brush. Uh, you should uh, able to brush it off and uh, make it nice and clean. Same thing with the wheel. So what you need to do is uh, you need to find another jack, which is something like this. I got this jack from uh, my Chrysler Pacifica. 
So what you need to do is also you need to release the air, okay? Make sure you release all the air. Because when you press this down, the air needs to go out, okay? So you need to release all the air. Put this jack right in here like this. Against where the frame is. You see there's a frame down here. This piece of <coughs> Piece of frame right here. So you need to have this jack against that frame, and uh, make sure it don't touch the rim. Okay, the bottom part don't touch the rim. And all you need to do is just line it up. I hope I can do it, so you can see it. So make sure it's right in the middle. Put the tire right in the middle. Just line up. Have this jack right here. And then line base to that. There you go. So make sure it got everything there. Make sure you line it correctly, and it should now. What you need is a, for me is a, that one is a 21. So this one is a 21, all you need to do is crank it up. You can do by hand first. This one so you can pop the the bead. Okay? This is how you get the bead off. So crank it up. As you can see, don't look, don't worry, right? Don't be afraid to, to do it on the way. Make sure in the back. Back is good. Sure the back is good. There you go. That's it. As you can see, is the bead is pop. As you can see, so you are good. That's what you want. You want the, oh, the beetle got popped. Okay. Now, since the beetle is pop, you can do it. See, mine's a little bit close, as you can see. It's a try and error. I'll go ahead and pop it back up. And uh, give me a second. Yeah, so I'm back. Uh, unfortunately, the black um, jack is wasn't high enough for me to do this so I swap it over to this one uh, this one is a Toyota one uh, from the Sienna so now if you got this down and it's holding like that you can see it's exposing the uh, the sensor all you need now to do is all you need to do is remove the sensor basically the screw I was telling about is a 12 millimeter socket all you need to do is just unscrew that. It's not very tight. It's a uh, four uh, foot pound, I think, for the torque. So uh, you should be able to uh, get out really easy. See, there's no 
very easy to get out because it's not a uh, the torque spec is not very uh, thick. I need to hold it and get it out. There you go. As you can see, and make sure you get the spacer out right here on the back. Back, okay. Spacer. So you got that and the spacer, okay. Make sure you get that out. And you got the screw, uh, the nut on top. Okay. So just leave it like that. And now what you want to do is uh, just to get everything right, uh, make sure you take a picture of the old sensor and also uh, get a piece of paper out like that and put it in front so you can see it better. So you're trying to be organized, okay? So today I'm replacing Four, all four of them, but replace four of them. So make sure you write down. Uh, so you know this is the old sensor right here. So basically the tire you do is uh, the left side first one. This ID one, ID two, ID three, uh, ID four. So the one you just took it out. That's number one because it's the front left. So I put number one. on the old sensor my pen is working so the old sensor is number one so I know this come out from number one and what do you want to do is you get the new one right here and then you rip it off make sure you write it the ID on that location which is this one the ID is A B four D F one zero two. Okay. A B four D F one zero two. Make sure you got this correctly, okay? Because when you put it in, you won't be able to see it anymore. So uh, you don't want to do a, a double job. So make sure you double check. Make sure you wrote it down correctly so later on when we register this into the ECM uh, it can detect the sensor, the new sensor. Okay, so what do you want to do now? new sensor is you take this out first, take the cap out first. Okay, and you remove the bolt. I'll come with the two uh, spacer one is a plastic one, it's inside, and then you got the aluminum one, I think it's outside. So it's going like this. So for me, right in this area right here, I'm going to put a little lubricant in it. So this is what I'm putting in. Uh, silicon uh, grease. So I'm going to put it in a little bit there. So just make sure it's helping uh, the rubber uh, from corrosion and stuff like that. So put a little bit around it. Okay, now it's good. Now you get everything you, you have. And then let's go in there and install it in. Okay. Pretty simple and easy. That's pretty straightforward. You can see. So you want to have this thing go inside, okay? The battery side go inside, okay? So do slowly. One each at a time. And you should be good. So let me have this inside first. There you go. And get 
that straight into the hole right there the plastic one first and then the aluminum one and make sure everything is nice and tight and then you screw it in then Remember, it's only four, uh, four pound, okay? So a snug is good enough. Snug is good enough, okay? Just don't over torque this thing, okay? It's not good because it's plastic. Not fit. Everything look good. As you can see you install the new one in. Everything look good. Now, what do you want to do? Is you want to have a little shampoo? Uh, no. Uh, water. Uh, just want to have a little shampoo. Just you want to have a little water plus uh, soap, and then you want to. Put it around here, and also around the tire, too, so it go up a little bit easy when you're trying to pop it back. Not too much, a little bit, so it's gonna glide up here a little bit easy. Okay. So that's it. Now you want to release this thing slowly so it don't damage the sensor itself. So it just go slowly, okay? Don't go so fast. Slowly. 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 Okay, take it out. As you can see, as you can see, it's already popped out. So, if you have anything like a flathead, or I have this bar right here for my motorcycle, I can use it trying to pry it out a little bit so so it passed the sensor easier so that's it okay so as you can see, it's uh, passing the sensor already. So what do you do is you take the tire out or have a hammer or something like that, hit the tire right here on this side. So it uh, pop, so it seal it a little bit so we can pump air into it. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm gonna take the, the tire out Okay. So 
a couple of bounds I was able to get in and all you need to do is pump some more air in and where you hear the pop okay the pop is mean is uh, the beat is in sometimes pop a little loud and some snot so Ready? It's almost there. It's almost there. It's gonna pop. Pop, pop, pop. There you go. And that pop. This means good. Now we go ahead and I'll pump it to uh, maybe 30. Somewhere 30. 30. So I'll go ahead and take that out. Everything looked good. Now, um, like I said, it's time to uh, clean this up. Because uh, sometime when this is dirty, and it's not uh, smooth. Sometimes you're gonna have the the alignment problem. So this is a good opportunity to just clean it out with the wire brush. Make sure everything is smooth and nice. And do the same thing with inside the tire. Inside the tire, the other side. Instead of tire, this is <laughs> Let me get that <sighs> towel and clean it. clean same thing with hair so this uh, is what I love when you do it stuff at home you have uh, time to uh, slowly do this if you bring to a shop they do it by hour and sometimes they don't take care of the little stuff all right now what I'm going to do is uh, put the tire back and uh, raise and remove other lift and then uh, I'll show you how to uh, use the launch uh, X431 Pro Elite to uh, program the sensor ID into your, uh, your ECU or ECM. Okay, so give me a second, let me put everything back. Then we go on from there. So I got the jack out and everything. This is a 21, remember? And then uh, the torque spec for this is 76. In the manual, it says 76. So it's not that much. Some some other car, they go into 90, 85, 76. For me, it's a little less. So I torque it to about 80 or 85. Yeah. So uh, usually the tire or we pump it to uh, 40. Forty is good for me, but you can do to whatever you want. So I go 40. Okay, let me pump this up to 40, okay? Let's get to 40.
so 40 right 40 okay right 40 <clears throat> get the cap that's come with it put it in and basically you are done with installing the sensor now let me clean all this up first and uh, I'll show you how to use the scan tool to uh, register in the, uh, the new ID okay okay give me a second okay so you guys we got everything ready now let me show you how to program okay with the, the launch uh, X4431 uh, Pro Elite, okay? This is uh, the 8-inch uh, tablet. Uh, so tomorrow is Prime Day, so if you want one, it's a good opportunity to get it. And uh, trust me, when you're doing this, um, when you bring to the dealer to get... Um, the tire uh, sensor ID uh, program into your car it's gonna cost you at least three or four hundred dollars so so you think this thing is expensive man wait until you bring to a dealer so what I'm telling you right now you think this is a waste of money actually save you a lot of money in the long run so I'll go ahead and plug it in as again, I have the uh, I have the uh, <clears throat> the link for this scan tool on my uh, part uh, on my uh, video description. So uh, if you want one, go get it. I would. So if you work on you like to work on your car, it's a good opportunity to uh, to get one. It's a good time right now so uh, when you change all your uh, sensor make sure you write down the ID for each one so one so you know this is the front right here um, so one is over here two is over there three in the back four on the other side so make sure you write all that down okay so uh, so you can program it in so oh look at this beautiful background live wallpaper Love light wallpaper. Go ahead and turn on your car. Okay, now go to uh, to the launch program. Uh, intelligent diagnosis, and let it scan. Go uh, diagnostic. Um, give it uh, a few seconds. Okay, you go 16 pin. Uh, okay, 16 pin done. This is 2012. Other, uh, it's not Korean. It's, they don't have radar cruiser. Uh, it's no smart key. So everything's good. Go hit OK. Uh, OK. OK, now you go to System Select. And then you go to All System. Now pick um, Tire Pressure Monitor System. Go OK. And now you want to go to the special function. Okay. And then you go to ID registration right here. Okay. So make sure that you enter the ID registration exactly like this. Okay. If you miss it out any number or you get it wrong, the sensor won't work. Okay. Okay. Go okay. Okay. And main set. Okay. 
So you got five minutes, okay? They give you five minutes, so you have to enter all of them in five minutes, okay? So, which is a lot of time, so don't worry about it. Okay, okay. And you got four, so go ahead, input. Okay, so the first one, the first one is gonna be A, B, four, D. A, B, four, D, four, D, F, one, zero, two. F one zero two. Make sure it's correct. Okay. Double check. Go A B four D F one zero two. F one zero two. Okay, you go to the next one. Number two. A four C B. A four C B one three seven four. One three seven. Four. Okay. So A four C B one three seven four. Okay. Go to the next one. Next one is gonna be A one E A one E C three eight one four C three eight one four. Okay. A one E C three eight one four. Okay, good. Now go to the next one. A B four nine. A B four nine. F one five five. F one five five. So A B four nine. F one five five. Okay, so you got everything right. Make sure you check and double check, okay? So you got all the ID done. Go confirm. Okay, ID registration is complete. So you go okay. Go back. Okay, read data stream. And then, then select all and then okay. And then now is checking checking right so it's slowly it's going to show up all of them so don't worry slowly so as you can see the see it's flashing that's mean that it could not get a signal the dashboard is flashing but don't worry it's going to take a few minutes sometime you have to take uh, you have to drive the car for a little bit um to get it to get it to work so it just take a little time. So just make sure you got everything right. A B four D F one O two A four C B one three seven four and one A one E C three eight one four and A B four nine F one five five. So it's all of them good. Okay, okay. 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 Look like they got everything except sensor, maybe ties of pressure number one. But said the battery is good. Okay, so go ahead and go back, back, read it a stream again, select all, okay. So, okay, now we read everything right here, as you can see. And then as you can see, the light turn off. On the dashboard, the light turn off, like it's right here, and it turn off. That's mean right now all of them will register, and all of them you can read it. See, so the system can read it, all of them. So as you can see. So you got tire pressure number one, it's reading it, right? See the battery set over, and then tire pressure number three, which the battery's over, it's red already. 
Tire pressure number two. Battery's over. It read it. Tire pressure number one. Battery's over and it's read it. See, as you can see. So basically, right now everything is working great. And uh, this is how you are uh, using your uh, Launch X433 uh, Pro Elite to program your uh, tire pressure center sensor ID into your the the computer uh, on the on the car. So that's it. You are done. So like I said, this is a great scanner. It worked great. As you can see, I saw you have to uh, register your uh, sensor ID into your car. Very easy. There's nothing to do with it. So I have the link. Like I said, I have this link. Um, the scan tool link on my uh, video description. And also the tire sensor um, on my description. Uh, also, um, the the 12 volt jack, in case if you want it. Like I said, tomorrow is going to be um, the prime day, so it's going to be a lot of on sale. So make sure you go uh, if you uh, if you are D um, DIY. Uh, definitely recommend getting this because it saves you so much time and save you so much money, and uh, to uh, to do this. Trust me, you bring this into a dealer. Expect at least four hundred dollar, and every time you have problem, you bring it back. Not a four hundred, not a four hundred. Instead, so if you're thinking about this, cost a lot. It's really it's not. It's really is um, for a couple of use. You already get your money back. Let's say your family have three car, and it's old. Like this one's uh, this car is two thousand and twelve, and you know usually this um, the tire sensor, the battery only lasts about maybe uh, six year. So, you know, if you have a lot of car in your family or you have a relative or mm, anyone in your family member, you can do this. You can help them do this and save them a whole bunch of money. And uh, this is just not just getting the tire um, ID uh, or sensor register in you on, on your car. You do all the other stuff, too. And it's endless um, knowledge if you have one of these. And look how beautiful it is, you know. So, again... Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from the video. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Alright? Alright, bye.